Headed to Amarillo uh, for the first stop. We're going to stop at Amarillo Ranch. Yes, Amarillo Ranch. <laughs> and we're looking forward to that. And I want to show you how to draw a bird. I'm going to try and do it right here in the cab. We'll see how that goes. It's a little bumpy from time to time. You know, it's a work truck, so um, it could be a very shaky bird. <laughs> it could be a nervous bird by the time we're done with it. Um, but I just wanted to. There's Jack back there. He keeps attacking me with his toys. And. Um, singing Indiana Jones every so often. I sure will. I'll, I'll look for it, buddy. And right there. Echo, too, is climbing up into the cab, trying to, trying to get closer and closer. And let me see if I find that toy. Is this it? Yeah. Ah, success. Well, I told you right there. Oh, you're right. So, that's what we're up to. And, um, let me get my art supplies. All right, guys. Well, let's get started. So what we're going to do is just start with some very simple shapes. The most common problem I hear that people say when they say that they can't do art or they can't paint is because they can't draw. That's what they say. And you know, all you need to be able to do is sketch. And all sketching is is just thinking out loud on paper. That's really all it is. So we're just making an oval here and it's going to be the basic shape of, of the body. And I'm adding a triangular shape for the tail coming in. So it's sort of a triangle shape. A little bit, a little longer down the bottom than the top. And now we're going to add a circular shape where the head is going to be. And the paint that I'm using, because I can't see the paper, it's a raised line sort of paint. So it's a type of paint that I can feel. Now you can work with whatever materials work for you, but for me I have to use a tactile sort of thing. Now I'm drawing a finch, and finches have very triangle type beaks. They're very triangular shaped. So um, they crack nuts and all kinds of things with them. So I'm putting in a triangle here and then a curved little area where it comes in towards the face where the beak comes in a bit. And also a placeholder for the eye, which is really just a circle or the line through it. Now for the wings, I'm putting in another oval shape. And it's a sharper angle than the one for the body. Now with a sketch like this, all we're doing is just making a placeholder on the canvas or the paper or whatever you're working with, just a way of thinking of what it is that you might do with the painting. And we're not worried about any of the lines that are overlapping or any of that. When we go in to paint, all that can be covered up. So you'll leave the lines that you like, you'll take out the lines that you don't like, and we'll handle up with all that later. Now a bird needs a place to sit, so I'm gonna put in a couple of rectangular shapes here, kind of together to give it a place to sit. Very simple sort of shape still. And a bird needs something to sit on, so I'm also gonna add some feet. Now feet are pretty easy. They're just little curves and they get a little more narrow towards the end. The great thing is, if you put in a toe and you don't like it, we'll just take it out later or whenever we're painting. Now for the wings, I'm gonna add some more shapes too. And these are really just sort of roundish squares and rectangle sort of shapes. And these are placeholders for where the feathers and the wings are going to go. And if it's not perfect, that is absolutely fine. In fact, it's good because it's better to make a mistake here than it is when we're doing the painting. So very simple sort of shapes. We get the rough idea of what the bird is going to look like. And now we can start working in on a little more details. Just Working on the shapes a bit, maybe putting in some areas where we think feathers are going to be, rounding out things and straightening things, whatever we need to make the bird work for us. All right, guys. Thanks so much for bumping along the road with us there, working on that bird. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to take that and add color and clean it up and actually turn it into an actual painting. Remember, all a sketch is, is just a tool in a painter's toolbox for getting you where you wanna go. So the simple shapes and lines um, are all you need to be able to find your way along the canvas and be able to make a good painting. Thanks again for, for tuning in for this one. <laughs>